Hey guys, it's Gabriella. So today I'm going to be sharing my playlist, my top favorite musical tunes at the moment. Everybody has a lot of free time on their hands right now because of the the thing, the you know what that's going on. So I was like, hey, I finally have some free time to make videos. I gotta charge my phone. Let me get my charger. Oh, I can put it over here. I didn't go, go as gracefully as I wanted it to. Excuse my nails. I don't have any nail polish remover, so tomorrow I have to go and get some. It's Newsies, obviously. We're gonna go to my little music app. Okay, so Aida, oh my gosh, I've been obsessed, absolutely obsessed with I Know the Truth from Aida and like Father Like Son, those are my two favorite songs from the show. I just started I Know the Truth in My Voice Lessons and I absolutely love it. It's such an underrated show. Didn't they say they were bringing it back to Broadway? Or like a tour, something. Assassins, The Battle of Cholgosh. I mean, need I say anymore? Neil Patrick Harris is just absolutely amazing. Assassins, again, totally underrated show. Book of Mormon. Love Book of Mormon. You and Me But Mostly Me, Hello, and Turn It Off. Turn It Off is a jam. You and Me But Mostly Me. I just want to do that at a karaoke night with somebody, but I don't have any friends. And obviously, nobody's going to be going to karaoke nights anytime soon. Chaplin, All Falls Down, Jen Colella. There, there's nothing else to say. The song's amazing. And the ending, what a way to finish a song. Beautiful, beautiful, again, underrated show. Oh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang with the original Broadway cast. I have Hush It By Mountain on my phone from the Broadway production. It's here on YouTube, you can find it. Just search Raul Esparza, Hush It By Mountain. I mean, everybody already knows Raul Esparza has an incredibly beautiful, beautiful voice, and he's just so endearing. Sometimes I listen to it before I go to sleep because it's just so, it's so, calming. I'm like so disappointed that it had such a short run. Like people did not like it and I don't know why. I thought it was great. Cruel Intentions. Who else? Does anybody else love the Cruel Intentions musical? I saw it last year on tour and it was phenomenal. Front row. I saw it front row at the Broadway Playhouse at the Water Tower Place here in Chicago and it was absolutely phenomenal. It was so great. And so for those that don't know, it's a 90s jukebox musical. So if juke jukebox musicals aren't your thing, then this isn't your thing. My two favorites from the show were Bye 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 and I Want It That Way. <laughs> it, it's just a great show and I highly recommend you check it, like check out the music. It's, it's so, so good. Fun Home, I don't know why, but I've been obsessed with Come to the Fun Home lately. Last month, for some reason, I just started listening to it over and over. <laughs> And I keep trying to do the dance that the kids do at the end, but I keep failing miserably because I can't dance to save my life. I, I really love um, Flying Away, the reprise, the reprise, however you say it. It's so beautiful, but I can't listen to it because I just start bawling at the end. I, I mean, I'm sure you all know the moment, <laughs> the end of the song. It's, it, oh my gosh, I can't listen to it. Gigi, I love It's a Bore from Gigi. It's such a short song. <laughs> But, I, I mean, I don't know. I just think it's really fun. Again, I think that's a really underrated show. What color were they last year? Mine too. It's stunning! Cory Cott, I mean, you really can't go wrong with Cory Cott. The man's amazing. Jersey Boys. Everything to do with Jersey Boys. Jersey Boys is one of my top favorite musicals of all time. I love it with all my heart, and I, I don't even know what to say about it. I could get emotional talking about it, that's how much I love it. I can feel the tears coming on already, so we're just gonna move on. Every song from Jersey Boys, absolutely incredible. 
Oh, Leap of Faith, another underrated show that just didn't go on for that long and I really don't know why because it's incredible. Raul Esparza. I mean, that just says it right there, Raul Esparza. You got it. It's an incredible show. If he's in it, doesn't matter what it is. Like, Raul Esparza could sing the phone book and I would be 100% invested. Jonas's Soliloquy and Like Magic are my two favorite songs from that show. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We can't play the rest, I'm gonna cry. The emotion that he shows in that song, oh my gosh, just... What else we've got? Um, Newsies, the world will know. I don't know if I've shared this on my YouTube channel. I know I've shared it on Instagram. Which if you don't know, you can follow me on Instagram at gabriella.vega.theater. Last year or two years ago, I listened to The World Will Know from Newsies over 365 times, which is crazy. Also, one of my new favorites in the show is Something to Believe In. Only Alex Prakin's version, any, any of his versions, because um, he's played Jack Kelly in different productions, but Alex Prakin's my my favorite Jack Kelly. Don't even try and come at me. He, he's incredible. I had the wonderful pleasure of seeing him perform as Jack Kelly at the Paramount in Aurora, and it was beautiful. Yeah, something to believe in and the world will know. Next to normal, I think, some people think it's overrated. I think it's underrated. I still don't think it gets the recognition that it deserves. I'm obsessed with Better Than Before. J. Robert Spencer, I mean, I love him. Like I said, I'm a huge Jersey Boys fan, so. And J. Robert Spencer was uh, Nick Massey in the original Broadway cast. You've got to die, hooray! Let's see, Rent. Oh yeah, Finale B, that's a jam. That is a jam. Life support, <laughs> that's a tearjerker, <laughs> but but it's, I love it. I'll cover you, reprise, reprise, you know. Collins, you know, I, you know, I just read the other day they said they're archiving Rent. Is that a spider? That is a spider. Oh God, I gotta get that. I was like, how, how, please, no, don't. <laughs> what you own from Rent, that, that's a beautiful piece of work, I think. Stick it to the man from School of Rock. Spring Awakening, underrated show, extremely under. I want to play like Marta. Actually, yeah, that'd be probably the role. I wanna play Marta so badly. Any of the characters. Any of the female characters in Spring Awakening. That, uh, I have to do that show, I have to. Totally. <laughs> the Dark I Know Well. Just, the show is phenomenal. Like really, if you don't know anything about Spring Awakening, you need to check it out. It's, it's, it's incredible. It's so good, it's so good. You won't be disappointed. Well, you might, if you don't like it, then you'll be disappointed but I haven't come across anybody who says they don't like it yet. I'm sure there's gotta be some of them out there, but those are people you don't need in your life. West Side Story, G Officer Krupke, that's my jam, I love it. Um, Maria, the Jet Song, those are like my top faves. If I was a guy, my dream role would be Tony, <laughs> just so I can sing Maria. Gosh, it's so beautiful. What? else I have some other ones go the distance I love Adam Jacobs version the best don't come for me don't come for me I think it's better than the original version yes I do I really do that's beautiful if you haven't heard Adam Jacobs version of go the distance you need to listen to it it's oh my gosh it's so beautiful a corner of the sky from Pippin love that song you know, I think that's it. Like, those are the songs I've been listening to like all the time lately. Only carrying the banner from Newsies. Another Newsies song. So yeah, since I have all this downtime, you know, I'm free to make videos whenever. So just, you know, comment down below some video ideas. You know, Playbill collection, you know, 
I mean anything. I have another fun video coming out um, that one of you guys requested. It's it's pretty funny. It's kind of just like for the memes, you know? Do people still say that? For the memes? But I don't know, I'm 24. I'm not in with like what the young kids are saying nowadays. It'll be posted probably like sometime this week, so let's check it out. It's funny. Hope you guys liked this video. Yeah, stay safe guys. Oh, and look at my awesome puzzle thing. This is just the box, but the actual puzzle is like here on the floor on top of canvases because I didn't have anywhere else to put it because my table was too small. Isn't it beautiful?